So it's Carolina Wydra. That's how I say your last name? Okay. Does everybody screw that up? Oh, absolutely. All the time? They go like Carolina. And I'm like, it's not Carolina. Oh, Carolina. Uh, they go care or something. And then Wydra, Wydra. Yeah. yeah. That's always a big stickler for me. It's like I want to get the name right. So. Uh, hey, everybody. I'm Mark Walters of BigFanboy.com. I'm sitting here with the very lovely Carolina Wydra from the movie The Europa Report. And uh, I really enjoyed this for a variety of reasons. I mean, I love kind of the whole found footage aspect of it, mm. and in the sense that it doesn't look like just any other found footage film, obviously, mm. um, and, and the setting of it all, and, and just kind of the whole concept behind it. Talk a little bit, I guess, about how this role came about for you, like when were you first approached, and, and you know, what was that reaction? I mean, because I'm, I'm assuming when you read something like this, it's kind of hard to process all of that, and, and what it's going to end up looking like, of course. Yeah, yeah, I, uh, I... Oh yeah, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> um, what, what happens? If I got a call from my agent, and they were saying, "Oh, you know, there's there's this part," and I read I read the sides and I put myself on tape. But then I met with Sebastian, the director, and we talked more about it. And then I really wanted the role because I really love the character because mm -hmm. Katya is so full of, you know, so so passionate about what she's doing. And she's so willing to fight for 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 for, for research for, for discovery. And so I was really drawn to her and. Um, that I didn't hear for two months, and I was like, oh my god, it's gone. I was like, oh my god, no. What did I say wrong? I was like, no, no. <laughs> and then I get a call out of the blue, and, uh, and, like, and Sebastian's like, do you want to read the script, and let's talk about it. I read the script. Mm -hmm. um, because they were, at first they were keeping it hush hush, the script. They didn't want people to, to get it out there. And, right. and I read the script, and I was just like, oh my god. I was like, I have to play this role. I have yeah. to play this role. And then. I spoke with Sebastian about it, and the next day I get a call in the morning, at 8 in the morning, my manager texts me, you got the call. Mm -hmm. And I still get chills, like, just thinking about it, I was so excited, and um, then I was off to New York to do it, and, and, um, and, and you know, once we, we started rehearsing, and I started doing my research, talking to a marine biologist, and getting into that, you know, headspace of what, how a scientist will think, how a marine, marine biologist views the world, because they see the world in a very completely different way than you and I do. Sure. You know, like when I spoke to this marine biologist, she, for her, being in the water was, she felt safer than, than being, you know, walking around people. She, she was safe, felt safe around sharks and whales and, you know, she lived for research and she lived for discovery and, and I asked her, like, if, if somebody would offer you to go to Europa to, to, on this journey to discover there's possibility of life out there, she's like, absolutely, in yeah. a heartbeat, she wouldn't even think twice about it. Right. Um, so, doing that and then seeing, when I saw the ship and seeing how, and, and, and Sebastian explaining to me what he wants to do with the setup of eight cameras and then command module had three and how all the cameras would go at once as you're doing a scene and it's hard for you to to grasp that by the time. I was just so <laughs> blown away but I was like wow I've never seen that done like what, an, what a great idea and and so when I, mean, I saw the ship and how it was all done it was just it was incredible. Well and there's an interesting thing that happens too in that uh the way that the story plays out, like, like it, it kind of, um, without giving anything away, it, it, it pro progresses to a point where it becomes very much it's like all on you and all on your face, and oh. you're having to mm. kind of play that scene very much, you know, like like we the audience are right in there with mm -hmm. you, mm. and 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 having to play every kind of emotion and every kind of feeling mm. in those. I would imagine that's somewhat challenging too, going from having so many cameras to just having that one really close-up camera right on your face to, to sell that really important moment. Well, I, you know. it, it went from, I also went from like having all those cameras and being in there with all the cast. Right. And basically you feel like what was great about that is that, you know, there wasn't like coming, somebody's like, there's like a crew behind you as you're doing a scene and an actor. It was just an ensemble piece, so mm -hmm. you felt very authentic when you're on the ship doing the scenes. So you were, you get a chance to really have the feel of what it would be like to live on that ship because you close the door and it's just us there, and you couldn't we couldn't open the door. Right. You had to open for us, you know. Right. Somebody had to open the door for us, and so you were living in the moment, doing the scene. And what you're talking about, the close-up, was just me yeah. with a 50-pound suit on me, which is yeah. extremely heavy. And of course, I wanted to have like the authentic feel for it to really sure. know. So I had the gloves on, the, food, the, the the shoes on, the whole thing, and and the cameras on the helmet. And you had it was extremely hot, so you would have a fan that would cool you down as you're inside. Yeah. And then for the scene, you would turn it off and you go for it. And 
and it was shot on a green screen. So you're, it's, it's, it's amazing, the magic of, of movies, the magic of what we do is like what you see, but what I was seeing, it's just you, you create this whole world yourself. Mm -hmm. You, your imagination takes over, and because it's a green screen, so and or or you know you're blocked up, so you don't see anything, and you just create this world. Yeah. And somebody's talking to you, and you you're you're just living in this whole create world that's completely a fantasy world created by you, which is just kind of cool. Yeah. Well, yeah. It was great. It was great. Well, and the concept too of that scene. I mean, there, there's kind of that element. I, I think anytime when you really think about space exploration. There's always that element of, of isolation and just being so alone, and mm. kind of like what you were saying about how you go in the story from from being in scenes where it's you and the whole cast, and then going to a scene where it's just you, and mm. and and the concept of you being out there trying to gather samples, but there's just nothing and no one around you. And I mean, to to me, I've always felt like as cool as space exploration would be, I. I'm, I'm very sort of like afraid of being alone at the same time and I think that there would be kind of that fear that comes with that. I yeah. well being, but also it's like, it's it's one thing to be By the way, alone. you have a lovely balloon tattoo. I don't know oh. if everybody's picking that up right there, but that's, that's oh, really cool. awesome, thank you. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I just I keep seeing it, it's just so cute. It just, yeah, yeah. thank you. I got it this year. Did you really? <laughs> yeah. I got it because it's, I love balloons and it also makes you happy when people see that yeah, balloon. It's cool, yeah. <laughs> it's, yeah. <laughs> it was unexpected. So. <laughs> Thank you. That's awesome. Um, but I think what you're saying, being alone, like when we're alone, you know that there's people. Mm -hmm. But we're, we're, the kind of alone we're talking about is just completely unfamiliar world, unfamiliar yeah. environment. Yeah. And it's not like you can run back and, you know, it's just. That's scary. Yeah. That's scary, and, and and yeah, that's I could not. Me as Carolina, I could not imagine being on, going on the mission and having that experience. Yeah. How would you classify a film like the Europa Report? Like I, I was trying to actually describe it to a friend of mine, and I was saying, some people might even look at it as maybe being kind of a horror type of film in a sense. Do you think so? But I don't see it that way. Mm. I see it more as a kind of a psychological, scientific thriller. Mm. You know, I mean, to me, that's that's how it plays out, and it also plays out in a very realistic way. Like, I, I would think this is the kind of film that, you know, actual scientists would would show people and say, you know, look at how these people are dealing with this situation, and, and you well, know, maybe the effects it's having on them. See, you know what I loved about and another thing that I really love about the film, and it's like talking to the scientists and, and doing the research for two, two weeks. A lot of sci-fi films that you see. It's a lot of when there's action and it's so dramatic and you know it's like oh my god like, there's just all this drama and what I loved about our film is it had a lot of more realistic feel because these people go through so much training before they even are capable of being sent out there. I mean they're stuck for two years. We I mean, no one's ever went, but you know when they did the the simulated mission to Mars, you yeah. know the the training that they have to go through to even to even do that it's it's it's, it's incredible it's, and it's all mind stuff because you are you are with these people all the time in the tiny space you can get away from anyone right. you know? not a lot of and secrets not a lot those, of secrets yeah. but also so there's like so when you play but also playing that you are so trained that if anything happens dramatic anything happens if somebody maybe dies or, or if something goes wrong with the ship and they're like oh my god you know, you just, you own it, you, you go, it's, it, it's, and so that's what I love about our film, that it has that feel, and, and scientists, they were showing at JPO, and, and the scientists said that what they appreciate the most about the film and about the, the, the acting of the film is how accurate we played the behavior of these scientists. Right, yeah. How it was so, uh, and controlled, like, you, you know things are going on, but it was controlled, mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and that's what, got me excited about the film that Sebastian had that vision for the characters as well. Right. Much more analytical and, and yeah, yeah. It's my, yeah, it yeah, gives yeah. it a realism that, that a, real, a lot exactly. of space films like that don't have. Exactly. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about uh, uh, we, we recently see you on True Blood and things like that. Oh, honey. What 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 kind of roles do you like playing? Like what is to you is like the ideal type of role? I mean you've done a lot of different types of things and, and this is obviously a very interesting type of role to play as well, but what what for you is like the ideal part? Um, the ideal part. I mean, there's so many things that I want to play. Um, I love strong women. I love I love characters with struggle. I love complicated characters that have inner struggle and, and passion and drive. 
and um, on, on True Blood, my character is, they're slowly introducing her, there's going to be more to her, but she's a very strong, strong woman, and she yeah. gets what she wants, you know, at, at any cost, she'll yeah. get what she wants, <laughs> and I love that about her, and you know, for instance, with Katya, it's, it's, her, it's the passion that drives her for, for discovery, you yeah. know, and, and the courage that she has, that I, 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 I don't have, that I wish to have, so yeah. playing that, it's really, it's such a gift for me, and I mean, there's other things that I want to play. I would love to play uh, someone, you know, I'm Polish, so for me, World War II has a huge Absolutely. effect on me, and I would love to play a woman during that time, a Jewish woman during that time, and having that experience. And um, But a lot of the time, it's someone that, I, I think for me, it's like I read it on the page, and I'm just like, wow, this character is just, you know, I have to fall in love with the characters that I play. And, 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 they have to be a challenge for me. I'm like, wow, like, how do I, how do I get in there? Like, you know, how, what can I do to learn? It's all about growing and learning and and and, um, and exploring. You know, even playing a vampire, there's so many things that I didn't know. They need to learn. Yeah. And you know, I need something. When I started the job, I'd be like, okay, how do you do this? How do you do that? <laughs> because it seems like we're seeing a resurgence of strong female characters, and which, I which love is that. it's been gone for a while. And, yes. and it's nice to see it come back. And I love that in Europa Report, there's the captain, mm -hmm. who's a female, who's a very strong character, who's the heroine of the film, I would I would say, and you know, and and she drives a lot of the storytelling of what happens, and and um, and, and and my character is a female, and, and I love that, and I love that there's so many more really smart, strong characters and complicated women that you know come from struggles to. to to make something of themselves as well. Yeah, awesome. Well, yeah. I, I think I'm your last one before your break, so you oh, probably you probably earned that break. Yes, and uh, yes. I really, I just thank you for coming to Comic Con oh, yeah. and thanks for talking thank to us about you. it. Uh, Carolina Whitro and the film is the Roper Report, and we'll have more information down below where you guys please can. Please watch uh, it. It's great. Yes, please watch it. It's really cool. Yeah. I really enjoyed this a lot. So great. thank you so much. For thank you. It's very nice to meet you. Oh, you too. Yeah, I love your balloon. <laughs> <Thanks>. <laughs> That's thank awesome. You.